everybody. Okay, I am so excited to plan with you today and I'm ready to take my spreads in a little bit of a different direction. So I've been doing a lot of like reds and pinks and even like some blues, but if you didn't know, my all time absolute favorite color in the entire world is purple. And when I was flipping through my sticker books this morning, trying to decide what I wanted to do in my spread this week, I remembered this horizontal sticker book with some of the farmhouse stickers in here. And I was just looking through and I love the like fresh green, but what I also love even more than that is like this like soft lilac and purple and green kind of sticker. And I also love the pink and the green as well. So I thought that I would go ahead and do something along those lines and I am excited about it. So I don't actually have that many plans this week. So on Wednesday, my father-in-law turned 60 and then it's my grandmother's birthday and she passed in 2010, but it's just one of those things that I can't not write in my planner. Let me know if you guys have something like that too, where you just had like a memorable person and even though they may no longer be with you, you still just write it in your planner because it's special. And then on Wednesday, Delilah has art and I believe that is everything. I don't have a payday this week, so I'm not, I don't have that on my planner. Payday will be actually Monday of next week. So it's a pretty chill week and I don't, again, I don't have a ton of plans. I'm sure things will come up. I'm sure we will have plans and all of that. But for now, like the pre-planning part, I don't have a ton. So we are going to spend most of our time decorating, which is exciting. But of course I will always, you know, put some plans on there. So what I like also about this horizontal sticker book, and I will, if I can find it anywhere, I will link it down below for you. I don't know if it's still available or anything like that, but I will do my best if I absolutely can to try to make that happen for you. But I love that the horizontal stickers fit perfectly on my dashboard side, like on that left hand side. And I just think, I think it's nice. And then the other stickers, the smaller size ones fit really nicely in the boxes of my dashboard layout. So I did want to kind of share that with you guys and kind of walk you through how I might, you know, do a spread with some horizontal stickers. So I am absolutely obsessed though with all of the like soft greens and springtime vibes here in the Pacific Northwest where I'm from. We are, I feel like we're like gearing up for spring, but the moment that I say that, <laughs> the moment I say that something is gonna happen. So we are gonna have spring taken away from us any moment I can just I can feel it <laughs> I can feel that the I don't know the winter gods want to come back one more time also on the left hand side I would like to change up my categories over here so let's see if there's any cute green colorful boxes in this is the modern farmhouse sticker book I just can't stick to just one sticker book today it's just it's one of those days you know do you ever have one of those days where you absolutely cannot there is no way you could not even even if you tried stick to one sticker book okay so there are some greens and I found some purple in that gold sticker book but I don't know if it's the right purple you don't know what I mean <laughs> if anybody knows what I mean about having the right colors let me know in the comments because sometimes it just is that way okay there are a couple of those I need four stickers to cover my different sections because I like to use this dashboard. And for those of you who have been here, you already know. <laughs> you already know how I like to use it. But for those of you who are new, I like to use my dashboard as like a week at a glance. So for all of my different sections, I come here to this dashboard section and then I flip into the other sections of my planner. So that's just kind of how I use that space. Hmm, let's see here. So there are two here, two of this green. There are two of this green. Hmm. Okay. And what do we have in this horizontal sticker book as far as 
like functional boxes. Hmm, these are focus on stickers. What do we have here? I don't think we have much. I might have to grab out another sticker book and see what we can do to cover those sections. Let me look around. I also have, okay, I have this sticker book as well. This is the teacher florals. Let's see if there's anything green in here that I can use. All right, we have noted. I thought I saw a page of functional things in here. It's possible. It might act. In, a, in the teacher sticker book, you would think that there would be <laughs> enough functional things to go around in all of the different colors, but who knows? These, I love these. Oh my gosh, those boxes are perfect in my dashboard. Let's see, okay, so that has blue on it. These two do not have blue, neither does that one. Are there any in that purple? Oh my goodness, there's like three. <laughs> and then, oh my gosh, and then there's like not, there's not a fourth one, what is going on? Okay, four important. So it could be green or like a soft purple. Is this spread gonna give me all the trouble today? Is this gonna be that spread that I just have trouble with? I sure hope not. Okay, that one does have a little bit of blue in it. Hmm, okay, I don't know that this is gonna work. Okay, let me see if I can find something else. Okay, green in here to the rescue. Bright type is back to the rescue. Okay, so we are going to just kind of stagger these. So this one is gonna end up being a to-do list. Actually, now that I've spent all of that time looking for those, maybe I'll do like a long sticker. <laughs> do you ever do that? You spend so much time looking for a sticker and then you're like, well, maybe I'll do something else. Maybe I'll like change it up a little bit. Why do we do this to ourselves, you guys? Why do we do it? Okay, so maybe not in this one. I have entirely too many stickers happening here. Let's see, are there long ones in this modern farmhouse? I can't even remember. Do you ever flip through a sticker book and you look at all of the stickers and then like immediately you have no idea what you just looked at? Is that just me? Does that happen to just me or does that happen to all of us? <laughs> There are just so many different options. I feel like it's so hard to remember what is happening where. <laughs> it's a struggle. The struggle is so real. Let me know in the comments if you have this struggle as well. Okay, this is the goals sticker book. It has a lot of really nice functional stuff in here. I actually just got this one not very long ago. And the colors are close-ish to what we're working with, that it could work if there's anything long in here. They do have a, quite a few functional things in here though. That's nice. Notes and things. This says one, oh, I like these one, two, three. Oh, so that's like goals and dreams and then your steps. That's actually kind of cool. Mm, alas, I think we're just gonna stick with our regular categories. Okay, so we'll do this one up here. That will be pretty. And then we'll do this green over here. And then we'll flip flop them. That's how we will make this work. So we'll put that one there and then the darker green will go over here to cover up noted so they won't be they won't be so close i get kind of weirded out by things that are so close like that i don't know what that is i just like the colors to look kind of balanced on my spread let me know if you get a little bit like that too i'm not sure why i do that it's very strange okay and then what else do I want to do in here? So back over to this horizontal sticker book. I am going to, we have nothing happening on Monday. And then I have two things happening on Wednesday. So I could do like a few little dots. And I think I will use this goals sticker book potentially. There are a lot of dots in here. I just need to look at what colors they are in just to make sure because I'm not sure that that like sea foamy green is necessarily gonna work but that purple that's here may not also may also not work. Hmm, let's see, were there dots in bright type or even little flags would be fine. Oh, yeah, those, that one could work, that green one. I think I have looked through this book for dots before and used them. I've been really into this year using the little dots and icons. Okay, they have the stars, those are pretty. I think we'll do the stars and that's actually kind of fitting because my granny's absolute favorite thing in the entire world 
were stars. Like that was her thing. So she, this is going to be a sad story. So I apologize about that, but it's also kind of happy and sweet. And so she passed like three weeks before Brian and I got married in 2010. And instead of in the flower girl basket, instead of having like rose petals to walk down the aisle. So my daughter was two. And so she was our flower girl. We had origami stars made because they were my granny's favorite thing and she couldn't be with us. And so we had Delilah throw stars down the aisle and they were in these beautiful fall colors because our wedding was in October and it was just, it was so sweet. And it was one of my favorite moments of, of our wedding. That was just, oh, that was one of those things that was so special. Let me know if you are a married person and you have like a sweet moment like that, that you just remember and you really cherish from your own wedding day. But yeah, that was, that was a very sweet moment from our wedding that I loved. All right. So then I'm going to use this box over here to mark that Delilah has art. We'll do a little bit more green, but I do want to pull in some more of this purple and these like pretty florals. So I'm going to use this so many plans so that will be there that's really pretty let's see are there or is there any other little like checklists in like a soft purpley color this might work yeah i think that this may work here this is kind of like a grayish purple but i feel like it works a little bit better than others so that's really pretty um mm -mm -mm. It's kind of a bigger sticker, but that could be okay. That might be fine. Let's just take a look through. I haven't seen this horizontal sticker book in so long. These, these brights are really cute too. That's super pretty. Okay, so we'll just do this because on the weekend, I don't have any plans, but Saturday the 12th has absolutely got to be a chore day. Like <laughs> it has to happen. I am just, I don't know what is going on, but I'm in such a funk lately that I'm just not getting anything done, you guys. Let me know if you are having any similar struggles or what's going on. I read somewhere that Mercury is in retrograde. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> and I don't know if that affects anything, but I have just been like in a little bit of a funk. I don't know what exactly my deal is, but it's, it's not fun. I'll tell you that much. It's definitely not fun. Okay, we'll do a little weekend adventure sticker over here. And then I love to hate doing chores, but we'll we'll go with love this because I do. I love I love the after. I, I'm telling you, I love the after part of chores, but I kind of can't stand it when I'm actually doing the chores. And again, I don't know why that is because I always feel so much better once I get it done. I wonder if that's like an anxiety thing because I do kind of like build it up in my head to like, oh my gosh, this is gonna take all day. There's no way I can get this done, all of this stuff. So I wonder if that's part of it, if it's like a little anxiety thing. If anyone else is like an anxious person, let me know if that struggle is yours as well or sounds familiar to you. What else? So then we had a little black and white floral there. Spread is actually looking very cute and refreshing. It is exactly what I wanted it to be, but I just want to make sure we are not leaving any stone unturned or something like that. Okay, and then I do wanna look at this modern farmhouse really quick. There were a couple of things in here that I thought could work well. Okay, we did weekend adventure. It's not gonna be an adventure, but <laughs> it'll be the weekend, that's for sure. Okay, and maybe this other like lined floral can go down here. That can be really pretty. I like it when the stickers already look kind of cut, like they are meant to go on the edge of something. I think that that's really pretty. I actually like that quote. You were made to do hard things, so just believe in yourself. I like that a lot. Okay, we may pull that in. There was though another little, oh yeah, this purple sticker right here. I may just put that over on Monday because I could just go ahead and like add a, like a box there as well. So I'll put this relax floral up here that is going to pull it all together and then I'm also going to put in this quote that says you were made to do hard things that looks that's going to look really cute so just believe in yourself it's going to take away some of the like functional space but 
I'm okay with that. You were made to do hard things, so just believe in yourself. That's pretty. And then I may put two more of those stars or something. Yeah, we'll do these little flags actually, because these are about exactly the right color, to be honest. So we'll put these down here because I can always find some way to incorporate little flags or something like that little functional things or maybe we'll just do one here and one here there we go and then I think I would like to put one more like black and white floral somewhere like in here and then that that'll do it I have that <laughs> TikTok sound stuck in my head let me know if you know what I'm talking about Oh, yep, that'll do it. <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. You do not have to worry about me. <laughs> I've been watching the TikToks that go with that sound, like, on repeat. They are just so funny to me. <laughs> it's gonna, oh, that's gonna be upside down, though. Okay, that's, mm, that's not exactly what I was thinking. Maybe this one. We'll try this. Ooh, I do kind of like these dots, though, too. You guys, I'm getting carried away again. <laughs> Sometimes these sticker books just really get to me. They're like, yes, use all of the beautiful things all at once. Just cover the entire page of in your planner with stickers. Don't worry about your plans. Mm -mm, do not worry about them. <laughs> just cover the page with stickers. It will be fine. Okay, so we'll put this one right in here. And then I think that may be it. But now I'm looking over here and I kind of want a little something down here. So maybe we'll use one of those little black and white dots just to kind of add a little bit down there. And then I won't have much to write, but there will be some pen to add. So we'll put those over here. And now I'm just like, oh, that looks so cute. Can I add them somewhere else? Can I add them? Don't think so. I don't think that I should. I think I should stop here. I think I'm going a little wild. The only other thing that I might add is like this little sprig, this little sprig of goodness right here. Because those line florals are so pretty. Oh, and I wasn't even expecting to add those. That looks so cute. All right, so then I'm gonna grab out my handy dandy pen and we are going to write in our few plans, our headers, that kind of thing, and then we are set for next week. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some pen to this spread and then I will be right back. <laughs> I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came your way to strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof All right, guys, so I realized as I was doing this spread, I forgot one thing that I love to add into my spreads, like a little banner or some kind of like washi up here. That's what we're gonna do really quickly before we depart. Hopefully you guys weren't ready to just click out and all of those things. Surprise, we're not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness so we're gonna just bring in some more of these cute black and white florals up here again I did not expect the like black and white line florals to make an appearance I feel like these days my spreads have like taken me on a journey and I have no idea where we're gonna end up most of the time I think that that's been so fun for so long I had just like a plan for exactly what I wanted my spreads to look like all the time I would never be very spontaneous with them and now look at us go all right so this is the spread it has some cute purples in it it has some pretty greens it just looks very fresh and ready for spring which is exactly how I'm feeling but if I know the Pacific Northwest, it will give us some kind of cold freezing rain something in the near future, <laughs> but I hope not. So I hope that you guys enjoyed planning with me today. I hope you all have a fantastic week. I hope you all are, you know, staying warm if you are in a colder area, all of those things. I hope you're having a great week. So thanks so much for watching. And if you're new here, hello, my name is Caitlin and I would love it if you would hit that red subscribe button down below and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Please also give the video a big thumbs up and go ahead and leave a comment down below with your 
favorite emoji. I loved it when you guys chose your emojis that time. So leave a comment down below with your favorite emoji and I can't wait to see them. And then if you would like to find me anywhere else, you can find me over on Instagram at creating in chaos underscore official. You can also find me over on the Spice Chaos podcast where I talk with my bestie Leanne at least every Monday and some Fridays for a mini sewed. So we are over there as often as we can be. So check that out. That is linked down below and thank you in advance for listening. And if you need even more from my channel or more content to hang out and check out, check out my Patreon down below. This upcoming week, I am going to be recording the first ever audio podcast that will be patron exclusive. It'll just be like a 30 minute quick chat of my choice I and mean, maybe even sometimes of your choice of what, you know, just of, of things that are planner related, non-planner related, that kind of thing. If you're looking for tea, that will not be the, the purpose of that, but I will be just chatting with you guys and hanging out on another at another time. So that's happening. I'm getting ready to share my favorite spreads and stuff from my patrons on their Instagram and all of this fun stuff. So I have lots planned over there. So make sure that you go ahead and check out my Patreon and subscribe if you are able. If you are unable, just in just watching this video is support enough. So thank you so much in advance for doing that. And then if you'd like to, you can also shop through my affiliate links anytime you make a purchase from the Happy Planner, Michaels, Joann's, or any of the other small shops that I have down below. Like Alicia's plans and wrong wrong DeVoe. And then if you would also like to, you can go ahead and use the link down below to buy me a coffee, which is basically a service to tip your favorite creator. And by the way, you guys have fun today.